Alright, I guess this is going to be a ramp video, so I don't know how long it will be. I guess you can call it a review, but this is more on my viewpoint of what, of what I think about this game. So this game right here I'm playing is War Thunder. I've been seeing a lot of ads for it on uh, Facebook now. But that said, I've been playing this game for around three years. But then, the, but here's the thing. I can't handle this game for no more than two to three weeks. And I'm going to explain why. But first, I'm going to talk about the good parts about this game. Graphic-wise, airplane-wise, and, and the uh, way the aircraft moves and whatnot. It's done perfectly. The way in the graphics, for instance, like for instance, I decided it's shining, shining on my aircraft here. It's beautiful. This is a very beautiful game. And the, uh, like I said, the what the actual simulation, pro the actual simulation. It's actually pretty well done, but that's about it. I mean, those are the only really redeeming qualities of this game here. Now, the uh, things I really dislike about this game. Well, number one is the matchmaking or getting into a uh, mission or whatnot. It can take upwards of many, it can take upwards of two, three minutes. And I have to do, and I have to constantly restart it all over and over again. I also sometimes do this for upwards of five minutes at times. So matchmaking is utterly slow, and then in combination with that, matchmaking on this game is complete and utter shit. What I mean by that is, is that I'm put against is that most of the time I'm put up against players that are a higher skill set than me, or players that have full-on pay-to-win fuck planes. I just do one hit kills on you without even having to sweat. And it also brings me into one other thing. There's absolutely no anti-cheat system in this game. I can't tell you how many times I get shot out of the sky by, by one person by one hit from like a hundred something meters away from me far out of their cannon range. And they still manage to land a hit on me. And the fact that the uh, player base and the uh, and the people that run this game are completely just do not just do not register the cheating pro the cheater problem in this game because there are heat tone cheaters in this game. Okay, what else? Uh, oh yeah, I want to talk about the controls for my for the Xbox 360 or whatever the little Xbox controllers. Now, if you play Flight Sim X. Here's how Fight Sim X controls are figured are done are mapped. Sorry about sorry. Okay, so let's see. Up, down, right, and left. Okay, so this is normal for X for Fight Sim X, but rudder control. Rudders is this. Throttles is this. These are fire. In Fight Sim X. These are these are aircraft movements and these are rudders. The two triggers here are rudders. These two are gears. These the little knobs here are trim. And for front and for throttle management. Y and B. Okay? And and then of course A would be brake. But for this game, A would be fire. As in fire your guns. Why isn't there a uh, why isn't there a control scheme for that in this game already pre-mapped? I mean, I'm a shit pilot and whatnot, and it's no help due to these shitty ass controls. If I can if I can convert the troll if I can convert my aircraft control movements to the way I had to the way Flight Sim X has it mapped, I would actually be more of a competent pilot in this game. With that said, I'm still a shit pilot in this game. I'm gonna let that be known right here and right now. I'm not a good pilot. But then, the fact that this game has horrible controls for a for an Xbox controller also doesn't impair the fact that this game is massive pay to win. I'm a free to play player. I don't got the money, nor do I want to give them the money because at this stage. They don't deserve my money because if he, because of what, nine times out of ten, I'm going up against some person that that has their airplane already maxed out because they paid for it, 
And I'm just sitting there running around in circles getting shot at. Or at times others getting aimbotted at and getting my wings shot off with one hit. I mean, most of the times, I most of the time, I just hang back and just just, th just do circles in the game. I just leave everyone alone and let them kill each other, kill each other because nine times out of ten, I can't do anything. I'm gonna get shot out of the sky, and I'm gonna risk my uh, and I'm gonna prove it right here by trying my best and actually take someone on. And that's what I mean by right there. Back there is an aim botter. Those bolts are going above my canopy. So there is no way for those bolts to somehow go through my canopy unless the person was aim botting. Oh yeah, that 51 right there also reminds me of another thing I dislike about this game. The fact that this game puts practically practically anyone with a 51 or anything like, or anything like that up against someone like me with a stupid with this little piece of shit aircraft here. That thing will blow me out of the fucking sky without even without even thinking twice. It's completely unfair. I think this is. I think this aircraft here is more classified around like a mid-range fighter. Why can't there be matchmaking set to where mid-range aircraft versus mid-range, low end versus low end, high end versus high end? Is that too difficult to implement into this game? I mean, that's that's nine times out of ten is why I quit this game after three weeks and don't come back for upwards of a year. So even though I've been technically playing this game for three years, I've actually been I've actually had an account for this uh, for this set for upwards of five actually. I don't play this game that often because I just can't handle the bullshit that is this game. Again, if I go in there with that fucking with the damn 109 and whatnot, I'm gonna get blown out of the sky. Oh yeah, I forgot I'll also show. This, the uh, the right thumbstick would actually be for when you're in cockpit view and whatnot to where you can actually look around. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta press and hold in on the mouse to look around. That's just fucking stupid. Especially when you're using a 360 controller to actually control your aircraft. He's gone. Oh yeah, also the fact that, um, well, all, is that there will be sometimes spammers that spam the, uh, radio crap, uh, if I can get it open. They'll spam this stuff constantly. There's no way to mute it. It gets utterly fucking annoying. Oh yeah, I forgot the one major thing I fucking hate about this game the instructor that there is no way to turn that off I, I remember something like a year and a half ago when I used to play this game there is no instructor mode it was turned off I had full control over my aircraft I do what I want 
If my aircraft stalled, it stalled and I learned. In this, with this is now, I can't stall it. I can't take full control over my aircraft. I can't tell you how many fucking times I've crashed into the ground due to the instructor not allowing me to pull full up on my aircraft. And don't tell me to turn the sensitivity all the way. I've done that. Again, the instructor limits you. Like I said, if I knew I had a chance, I would go into the fight. I know I don't because a lot of these people are either in aircraft that blow the shit out of this thing one hit or assholes with fucking pay to wins. Are actually gonna win this one? That's a first. And the only way to actually report someone, give me a second, is to actually go through this. There's no proper report system. And what's really sad is all these obvious names that are cheaters do not get banned. Where's the leaderboard on this? How do you pull up out the fucking leaderboard? Like for instance, this name right here, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's just a bunch of jump it's just a bunch of jumbly goob uh, lettering. This type of name right here is the name of a cheater. Why isn't he why isn't he been banned yet? Lovely. And there's nothing wrong with my aircraft. Nothing broke off, nothing. That bullshit right there too is why I can't handle this game. At least we won. Hollow victory for me because I can't do shit in this game. It's so heavy handed to, to the cheaters and the pay to wins. Why do I even keep downloading this stupid game? <laughs> 